All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. <sighs> Make sure everything's working right. Yep, it is. All right. Got to load up my last save here. Last episode, what did I do last episode? Did an N7 mission and um, went to the Citadel, did a bunch of things. Can't remember what all I did. That's okay. I do know what we're doing today. Let's just get down to it. I don't think there's a lot I need to do. Okay. We're going to Sanctuary. No, we're not. We're going to Kepler Verge, it looks like. Or maybe not. Because wasn't that where the M7? Well, I think it was, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Sanctuary it is. Here on Planet Horizon. Horizons where we went in Mass Effect 2 to save a colony. So we're gonna bring Edie and Ashley. Edie Cerberus and Ashley was stationed on Sanctuary. That's my mindset there. <laughs> Alright. All right, why am I doing disruptor ammo? It's because, um, I want to unlock it for a bonus power. There we go. So what do we know, Commander? Edie? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. We don't leave until we're one step closer to Cerberus. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. See, I'm just... I'm just amazed at the graphics of this game. I really am. I'm just... Wow, you know? So detailed and... Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. busted up. Some kind of firefight. Yeah. But who was fighting? Everyone hear that? Yes. Radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. I'm just checking for items. You never know. They might hide some. Whoa! We got trouble! <laughs> Harvester. A harvester to the shepherd! I saw it! Phantoms. Hate these guys! God, his ass. Look at that. We were evacuating. And looks like the Reapers were gunning for him. About time they started killing each other. That was a good shot, getting that nemesis and 
those phantoms in one shot. Like, well, the, one of the phantoms I got in two, but the other one I got in one. That that was pretty impressive. Look at that piece of paper. I mean, that just amazes me that they are able to do that um, detail like that. For your safety, communication devices are strictly forbidden. What happened here? I don't know. Come on. Cerberus shuttles came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Okay, so I I can't remember what all you do here. I know you gotta like find a switch or something Security cam footage. This was a reception desk sorting out the refugees Look at them all Come on, let's keep looking Man, sure is a fucking prick, man. For your safety, communication devices are strictly forbidden. New arrivals are encouraged to aid those having trouble with registration. All arrivals are asked to submit their possessions to our sorting staff for inspection. The compound. Oh, do we go down? Is that what we do? I can't remember. I, I really, I can't remember how to do this. I'm sure there's a lot of you. Oh, it's right over there, idiot! You know. But like I said, I can't. I can't remember how to do this. I really can't. And it's like, yeah, that's what we do. We go down the stairs. This must be another landing area. The shuttles we encountered outside were waiting to get in. But where are all the people they brought? All security procedures are in place to protect you and your loved ones. Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick, that's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What'd I tell you? Top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. Welcome to Sanctuary. Up ahead, Commander. Casualties, both sides.
an observation deck. Looks like a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. This is a Cerberus facility. Okay, I know that's the way we go. Miranda. We're taking items is what we're doing. Okay. Just like I said, I'm I'm looking for items. Make sure they're not hiding anymore. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? Security panel. Shutting it down. The water. What's with the smoke and mirrors? They needed to hide something. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Now we're in business, I think. Like I said, just looking around for items. I know it. Cerberus bastards. They take the equipment to salvage. You get money for it. We'll take those shoulder guards. Some kind of command center. No power. Look around for a switch. I know where it is. I just... Checking for items, like I said. Because you never know. They're the item, you know? Power switch. There. What's going on? Those are refugees. They're just killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. I forgot about that. Come on. Creating husks doesn't make sense. There must be more to it. The elusive man would not make a move without an assured benefit. Well, you would know, Edie. Here is AI. Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. I learn. There's no way she knows he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. Do you want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. 
Okay. Not surprised. <laughs> Gotta be more where they came from. Gee, you think, Shepard? Jeez. Okay. So Henry Lawson's a sick prick. The results of Cerberus experiments involving the husk creatures. A crude but necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. The key is how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet, but we are making progress. Reaper forces! Must be left over from the attack. Okay, I don't think that's the way we I think that's the way we need to go, but let's check this way first. Oh, we could have flanked him coming in this way. Huh. That's okay. Think? They attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Can't believe what I'm seeing here. All these people. Yeah. Come on. Right? Keep your cool. Let's put an end to this, damn it. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll get some answers. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? Lucid Man wants control. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This guy is someone's father. Can't believe what I'm hearing. I suggest tracking the shipments she mentioned. They could lead to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Yep, she sure was. We'll salvage the data.
Damn, I got them all. Oh, the locust. Nice. Oh, you got lucky, punk. Got your ass. <laughs> Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces, right? Is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They ascertained what the Cerberus plan was. Unfortunate news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Commander, there's more here. Look. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Okay. We go up the access ladder. A lucky shot right there. Boom. Nothing but spore pods over here. Items, okay. Get us closer to the tower. Okay. Here they 
Come! Stay out of their reach. I like to put my back at the corner. There we go. Oh, you're lucky that glass was there. Oh! Let's get up. Hello. Got her ass. Before she could blow her load. Uh, damn right. I love this pistol. It just takes out everything. Let's move. It it does. So does the M7 Eagle. Um, but this one's a little better because it has a suppressor and acts quite the punch. Tower access granted. Get ready. Shepard. A commander oh! Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda. Can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go. And maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? Ah! No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up in Kai Lang. You survived. Not many people could do that. That's true. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research databases have been purged, but security systems are intact, including Cerberus shipping manifests. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. A tracer? 
Sounds like you thought of everything. <sighs> Not quite, but... <sighs> Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is... exactly what we need. <sighs> thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my father. Cortex, we need Henry to pick Olson. up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Huh, we said that in two as well. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Okay. So, we might be finishing the game in this episode, actually. Because I don't think there's all that much left to do. Actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. What kind of soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, Yeah, I want to help with that. The same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into his skull. Those bastards aren't human anymore. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Go. No. Tally Whacker. <laughs> Tally Whacker wants to talk. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. Uh, how are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Victorian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. That's funny. That's funny. Sally getting drunk. I... I can't get that place out of my head. The whole thing was so... calculated. Using hope to lure people to their deaths. Or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. Right? Check on Garrus, um, Liara, um, Diana and Javik, and James and Cortez.
Oh, there he is. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. Wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah, there's that ruthless calculus again. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Right? The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Prothean notes. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. All right, no upgrades. Fuck it, we'll go here first. Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Okay. Dude. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry, but you really care about us. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. Oh shit. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. This conversation is over. <laughs> Looks familiar. I have been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. 
How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Are you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Oh, shit. But hey, we got Dark Channel unlocked. All right. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. Yep, you got that right, James. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. All right. We're going to get you. 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 Okay. Okay. Get some guns upgraded. We got unread messages. Here's a news article that um, the Quarians are helping the Turians.
Miranda wants to hang out at the apartment. Samara wants to meet at the Citadel. And our mother wants us to call. So I'm going to check on Joker and Edie. Then I'm going to go up to the cabin, see if anyone wants to come up. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, Gunny's the nickname she's had it since. Uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. You're damn right, Commander. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. So the prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. The decoy unlocked. All right. Cool. Now we'll go up the cabin, see if there's anything done needing to be done up there. Which nothing. I'm missing a few of the ships, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, you'd think it'd be a. Um, the Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. 
Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Okay. Back to the Citadel. So we can do the stuff at the Citadel. Sun Strip is where I'm going because I know Miranda wants to meet at the um apartment. That looks like all we're going to is the apartment. Hey, there's our picture. We're gonna call mom because I've never done it. I don't know what uh, Hannah Shepard wants. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, mom. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. You'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Goodbye, sweetheart. All right. So we get Miranda, Samara, and uh, Trainer. We'll do Miranda first, see what she wants. Little sucky sucky maybe, hopefully. Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. 
My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. Right? I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Yeah, that's true. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. <laughs> hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. That's true. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. See, I love, I love the DLC for this game. I really do. I really do. You know, it's a shame Miranda wasn't able to come to the party. That would have been cool. Let's see what Samara wants. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. We just didn't get much of a chance to talk at the party. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. Right? It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. Oh yeah, Samara would be cool to hang with, you know. Let's see what Samantha wants. I think I know what she wants, but let's find out. I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I have nowhere to put it. 
This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? Oh, shit! She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. She found a bag full of frickin' vibrators! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright, well that's it for the apartment. <laughs> I'd love to have an apartment like that. that. It'd be so cool to have, you know? It would be. Okay, so we can return to Normandy. We did everything here that we needed. Now we can go to the um, server space. Really? Miranda wants to go to the frickin' casino now? Come on! Why she couldn't I don't know. Well, maybe I should have checked the um, map too. I I don't know. I don't know. Okay. See, where's Miranda? There she is. Well, the wait spot, anyway. You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. 
truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh god. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? Huh. I'd take you home. Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Okay, so I know how to get out of here now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, now I think we're ready to move on. Now I think we're ready to move on. Yep, we should be now. Trainer. <laughs> All right, now we're going to the see the elusive man. Be anything here, actually. I don't think there is. Okay. Okay. Chrono Station, that's where we're going. Shepard. The intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we leave the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And... We have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Okay, we're gonna drop our cocks, grab our socks, and we're gonna end this shit. There's our old N7 helmet. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. The bullet must have just grazed me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? I've been ready since I saw the Reapers land on Earth. I can't pretend to be surprised. We have one chance. Just one. I'm not losing that. You won't. At any rate, let's not dwell on that tonight. Nice, we're getting some fucky sucky! <sighs> it 
It would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. I love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Show me. Damn right! This stupid dream sequence again. I hate this shit. I wish there was a freaking way where this was just automated, you know? A, a mod that was this was just automated, you know? Fucking A, this is so stupid. You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. We'll win. That's a promise. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. That's true! Grab your gear. We're going to bring out James. We need somebody rough and tough.
Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? It won't be a problem, Commander. Shepard, I am ready. You're taking Edie into Cerberus headquarters? I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Be ready to take us in. Roger that. Damn right, Joker. Grab and drop your cock and grab your socks, man. Get me in there, man. the Mac. Did I just... I did, man! I did! I took out that Mac! Boom! Shepard, Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Okay, we found it first try. Nice. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Nice! I took out that Guardian like they were nothing! Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they're on to us. They're not stopping us now. Whoa! Right through his shield. <laughs> nice. Overriding safeties. The fighters should now launch to the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Okay. Oh. Is there anything over here? No? Never know when there might be items or some shit, you know? Launching fighter. Yeah! Damn right. Hoorah! We followed the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Hostile forces have breached the perimeter. All units respond. 
Research personnel, lock that all terminals the last and destroy in this all area. data below classification Shit. level. Shit, is that all? I know, right? We just took down that <laughs> that fucking atlas like it was nothing. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to, well, I can't take it because I got to go in the door. This is an achievement if you jump into a broken atlas like this. There should be a way to fix it, but I can't remember how. I know as an engineer, you can fix it. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along? Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Yeah, Thanks. they would have. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. That's fine. <laughs> Crew going around the maze, just jump over it. Oh, you got lucky. There we go. Fucker. Nothing like a knife fight in an alley. We put down a lot of their troops. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock. Holy shit. I should have just stayed down there, damn it. I keep forgetting about that Shepherd, that console has not been fully scrubbed it contains data you may find interesting what am i looking at project lazarus your reconstruction it can't be done it's not a matter of resources it's always a matter of resources we're not losing shepherd sir shepherd is clinically brain dead after that much trauma that long with no oxygen we cannot overcome nature Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. That sounds like more than your basic coma. Looks like. What's that like? You remember anything? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of a coups. 
A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. Guess he was right. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do? Sit and wait? You're here to kick his ass now. That's all that matters. Right. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Bastard set you up, using your friends to keep you comfortable. Right? How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. All right. Incursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Can't go through that. There we go. They are attempting to flank us. They can attempt it all they want. We must stop the engineers before they place more turrets. Hop in a fresh cliff. We're not done yet. Damn! There. I love this gun. I love this gun. It just takes out anything, man. With a level five, um, if you were interested, the console nearby is still functional. With a level five piercing mod, it, it just holy fuck, dude. Here's what we recovered smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel. I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. Right? Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. I heard that. Yeah, that, that was cool. Sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's. Uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Oh, pretty much. It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well, it's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. 
Well, um, pretty much Edie in the well in the first game we went to the moon to deal with a rogue VI, right? Edie was that rogue VI. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zeta Bites? Yeah. Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. <laughs> Damn, Edie, Edie was looking at porn! And was sending it too! Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't a coup, Shepard. I want everyone to come out of this one alive. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. I know that's where we're supposed to go, but come in here and you get to find out more stuff. There we go! How you like us now? There's Kai Lang. I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Odina is... amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard, he should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? I'd rather you avoid killing Shepard for now, if possible. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Okay. You don't have to watch that um, log, but I do. It's cool to learn everything, I, I think. Now we can go down to the central lab. Whoa! What is that thing? This is the human proto reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. 
All those assholes who doubted you. I wish they were here right now. They can come take pictures once we take care of business. Damn straight. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Okay. More Cerberus forces en route. They damn well better be. I barely broke a sword. Take me! Damn right, that's how you take care of them right there. <laughs> boom a boom. <laughs> Fighting through this thing's like partying in a graveyard. Like I can feel it watching. It tried to kill me last time. It can watch all at once. Boom. There we go. Here we go. Into the door we go. Cool, we get some stuff here. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. Look at that! It's the elusive man's room! And there's his chair! That would freak me out. Standing on pure gl glass like that? Fuck that, man. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together, we would already have the Crucible and the Catalyst. You wouldn't listen. You're still not listening. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? 
I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. If you'd told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. got in there. That was not a hard fight. He's really not hard.
bitch. That we shaved, son of a bitch. We shipped him. Commander Shepard shipped him. Yeah. Shipped him with his Omni tool. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I reckon I'll stop them. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scan it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Alright, we're gonna be going to Earth. We don't really need anything else. So much for Cerberus. All that's left now is Earth. <laughs> you ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding a door. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. All right. We're going to Earth. Here we go. Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Damn right we are. Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. 
Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it up. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We're ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans alive and dead to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. All right, I'm ringing Liara. And... Yes, why not? There we go. There. We're finishing this tonight. Well, tonight for me, anyway. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. <laughs> That's the ascension right there. Alliance fleet reporting. Turian fleet reporting. Asari fleet's reporting. Death Fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Be ready on my signal. Fire! Engage the Reaper force. 
Roger that. All fighters on me. ain't fucking around, man. But we got one. Oh, but that just pissed that one off before he died. Breaking off. Preparing for descent. Commander. Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. Roger that, Commander. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Holy shit. It looks bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. I barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Damn it! Status! That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. Now, go! Go! Damn, I can't stay here, sir. Get clear. Come get us once you've taken that turret out. Roger that. Cortez out. All right, everyone. Let's move. Okay, who's shooting us? You, you little bastard. Whoa. Piss that brute off. There's 
with that son of a bitch. You get him? I think so. No, we didn't get him. We did now. There we go. Boom. Get some ammo before I run out. Careful, Cortez. Damn it, I'm hit! Steve! I'm alright! You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you? Yeah, but we're not gay for you. Oh. So. You should have followed that up with no homo. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for their heavy weapons. Supply. Okay, that's how Garrus got okay. We need some ammo before we get the cane. Oh That's it, we need to open fire. We destroyed that son of a bitch. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. Oh, hello. This is Commander Shepard. Any Alliance personnel in the vicinity? You little sons of bitches! God! Get in there! There we go. Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson! Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base, but the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, 
It's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? <laughs> the entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. I think it is. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got troops coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Okay, we're looking to make sure there isn't anything here. Doesn't look like anything here. Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Let's do to the Reapers what they did to us. Let's hurt them. But stay focused. Don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch. I know. I know. You're right. So... I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. 
It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man, and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. All right, you gotta find all your uh, squad mates. Okay. I know where we're going. It's up that rubble pile, but we need to see what's in here. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't going to make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now. It gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. I'll take you up on that, Sumi. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're away south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bringing a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Samara. Certainly. I'll connect you now. I'm glad you made it, Samara. The honor is mine, my friend. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepard. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Right? Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? 
Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. Okay. You don't have to do that, but I like to. I like to. Just to see what the gang's up to. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times? <laughs> huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. Think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then, we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I'll meet you there. I think my days of saving the galaxy are over when this is done. Be sure to leave room for all the autographs. <laughs> Just need to beat the Reapers to get there. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Right? Sorry, Torians don't know how, but I'll improvise. And Shepard. Forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. Okay, we're gonna talk to Primarch Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person, though I'm sorry to see your world looks as bad as ours.
but that was just to uh, give you a little action to break you from the monotony of this, so really doesn't matter if any of the horses get through. Here's Liara. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Of course I do. Close your eyes. Damn right. Could have went with a blowjob, but okay. That'll work too. What's his condition? The bleeding. There's a lot of blood. His leg was blown off over the knee. Okay. And I'll try to stay calm. I'm just a civilian. We're out of the ready and your surgeon got killed by a reaper. I don't know how to do this. I'll talk you through it. You're his only hope right now. The most important thing is to stop the bleeding. Do you have any towels or bandages? No, nothing. We can go down the highway. Then use your shirt. Tear off one of your sleeves and... Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. When the Rack 9 laid waste to the galaxy 2,000 years ago, would all be lost and the end was near? One word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the abyss. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. That word was Kroger! And today, the Krogan rise again. Today, we forge a new path and join the galaxy as allies in victory. Today, we win our future! Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. You came a long way, Javik. Damn right you did. No one else here. And I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. <laughs> well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us. No matter the cost. 
If we actually pull this off, what'll you do afterwards? Seeing the past again in the Echo Shard, the faces of my men. I will go to the Cronian Nebula, and I will find their graves. I will put their ghosts to rest, and then I will join them. You mean... It is as it should be, Commander. The last Prothean voice has spoken. There is no more left to say. Here. This shard is now yours. Add to it. The progeny of this cycle will study it. They will know this was the day when the Reapers were no more, and that you were their conqueror. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Makara sends her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. Now let's go kick some ass, Shepard. <laughs> All right. What about this zone? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Not like it. I spent three days in that sector, trapped inside big vents, sniping anything that moved. It's a bloody death trap. Name me one place in this city that isn't. We didn't run into Ashley, did we? Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on her pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You know, I really am. I spent months talking to the Council, to Admirals, to politicians. All to get to this moment. No politics, no diplomacy. Just us and them. One last time. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. It's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? Because I owe them for Thessia. And everywhere else. Damn right we do. Our chances of victory are less than assured. Are you afraid? Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do, or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Couldn't have put it better myself. Time to move up. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Yeah, we didn't find Ashley, did we? And I don't even know where she is. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Davik? Oh, we can't go back. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know where Ashley is. Commander? Admiral? 
Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Who yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. Oh, we'll pick our team well. This war has brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon, stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son, every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart, look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. Okay, Liara's coming. Ashley's coming. What I'm going to do... Oh, they're not going to let me switch guns? Oh, they are. I am going to switch back to the Eagle. Because I need rapid fire for this. It'll be so much easier than trying to stop and shoot.
Here we go. We're dropping our cocks, grabbing our socks. We're getting through this shit. In the building we go. Foxtrot and Bravo are taking heavy fire. That worked. Unload on those brutes. That's what you do there. We're just looking for ammo more than anything now. They don't have any good items for us. Or that I know of. That's everything, I think. Take that ammo. Alright, people. Eyes peeled. The buildings will give us some cover, but it gives them a place to hide. Roger that. We need some ammo bad. Well, we don't now.
Jesus. I forgot what the raid in London was all about, man. Bastards? Shit. Jesus. How are we supposed to take that thing down? We wait for it to get close, then we hit it with everything we've got. Our guidance systems are buggered. Roger that. Our engineers are on it. Our kids got something to do with the beam. Sorry I'm not talking much, it's just I need to be concentrated for this. There we go, we got the brutes. been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. I'll let you know when I've adapted the targeting systems. Sounds like good news, Commander. 
We'll see. Hammer, this is Admiral Anderson. The Reaper ground forces are making a push. Hold your ground. Protect those tanks until we can get a shot. You heard it, people. Get ready. There they are! In there, soldier. Heads up! We've got more incoming! All right. We better cover our left flank. These guys won't quit. Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got it. You heard him. Back to the truck, people. There we go. Missile guidance enhanced. Firing. Countering interference. Did it hit? What happened? The Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Goddess, more are coming? Hold on, everyone. Damn right we can do this. We're gonna do it too. Get rid of your brutes and your banshees first. Never, ever, ever keep them alive. Still, you fucking brute. Shit. Down you went.
Okay, we got it. Bastards. Not in a good spot, I'll tell you that right now. I am not in a good spot. Not wanting to go down, I tell you. Ugh. Don't you all go down! The destroyer is in range. Missiles are ready for launch. Roger that, Edie. We're gonna keep coming if we don't hit the button. With everything you've got. Yeah. That son of a bitch is down now. Destroyer terminated. Nice work. Shepard. We're on our way to your location. Roger that. Shepard. Over here. Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Here's the crucible. It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledged. I'll send the word. All ships, this is Admiral Hackett. The crucible is on the move. I repeat, the crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this
here on in. It's a straight shot to the deep. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful, huh? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Bad odds are better than no chance at all. The alternative is death. At least this gives us a chance. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Oh! Forest, run! Run, Forest, run! Ah! Holy shit! Oh, oh, go, go, go! Go! We made it! I think. argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, everything to me, Liara. I... I... Go! Oh, Shepard's still alive. Pull back. Pull back. Oh, I ain't pulling back, damn it.
made it. We made it. Shepard's going in. He may be almost dead, but he's going in. Keepers, they're harvesting all the dead bodies. Oh, already in bad enough shape. Shepard, Shepard. Oh. Anderson. You up here too? I followed you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Oh. <sighs> you okay? Just gotta keep moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? Oh, sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Goddamn abomination. I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. Exactly. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. I mean, it, I understand why Bioware did this. It was to show that Shepard barely made it. But I hate that you have to hobble like this all the way through this. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on it. Anderson. Damn it. There's Anderson, I think. Yep, there's his hat, so that'd be Anderson.
Anderson. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. They're controlling you! I don't think so, Adam. Why waste your time with us, if you can control the Reapers? Because... I need you. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit! We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. Oh! I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them. Made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who would listen to Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... <laughs> but I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You. You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You're nothing more than the Reaper's plaything now. No! You're the one who failed!
There's the arms. We're getting the crucible in now. There. I wish you could see it like I do, Shepard. It's so perfect. This is it, everyone. The Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest, Anderson. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I... What do you need me to do? Crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to. Here we go! Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? 
I am the catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You've said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it, to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. 
new life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The Crucible changed me, created new possibilities but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So, the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control, because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die, you will control us, but you will lose everything you have. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Okay, so you get to choose either to destroy you get to choose to control, or you get to synthesize all life. Which one am I gonna do? We got a long walk to figure it out. What way are we gonna go? Well, you know what? I want eternal peace, so we're gonna go with synthesis. like the little drum solo boom boom
disengage and head to the rendezvous point. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. Joker, listen. We have to go. Damn it. This energy destroys all the mass relays. So the the galaxy will be completely disconnected again. Joker's alive. On a planet, but it's not Earth.
I am alive. All of us, synthetic and organic, have been changed. The war is over, and the Reapers are helping to rebuild. Where once they threatened us with extinction, they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Taking our first steps into a new and wonderful future, where organics and hey, it's a Orion without a mask on. With peace across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge, to recover the greatness that was lost. and surpass it. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars as the line between synthetic and organic disappears. We may transcend mortality itself to reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. No matter how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. Because of him, I am alive. And I am not alone. Well, that's the end of Mass Effect 3, the end of this series. So this was a long series, I tell you what, but it, it was fun. It was fun. So, um, of course, I'll do other characters. You know, I'll keep doing them on Sundays. 
you know, I'll whip up another character. We'll start with one, go on from there. But we got some mods for both one and two as well. So um, it's going to be fun. Haven't decided what character I'm going to do next. So just stay tuned. Um, I'm pretty sure when this episode uh, gets posted on YouTube, I'll already have um, the next series up and running. I'm not sure about that yet, but I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, hope y'all had fun. I sure did. And I will see you on the next series. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story.